Hey, HasFit Tribe, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a beginner abs workout. Follow me for the standard moves. And if you need a little bit more of a challenge, follow me for the progressive movements. There's no equipment required for this routine, but if you'd like, you can use a mat for comfort. Or you can grab a dumbbell for some added resistance. If you're ready to go, let's get moving. All right, let us begin with a long arm crunch. We're gonna move to the floor to get started. Give you a second to get down here. We're gonna lie flat on our backs with our feet on the ground. Go ahead and bring your both arms back behind your head, keeping those arms long and straight. Next, I want you to make sure you have that lower back down and glued to the mat the best you can. Now we're gonna perform a crunch. Come up and squeeze and contract those abdominal muscles up at the top. We're bringing your shoulder blades up off the ground and we're concentrating on contracting your abs and not using your neck muscles or straining your neck to get up there. Now throughout the course of today's workout, we're not gonna count any repetitions. So it's gonna be all about you moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with and pushing yourself. We encourage you to make this workout your own. Trying your best to keep that lower back glued to the ground, trying to minimize any arch in between your lower back and the ground. Just coming up high enough to get your shoulder blades off the ground, making sure to breathe. You got it, not much left on this first one. Keep it moving for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right. We're gonna come up onto our feet for the next one. We're going to do a standing twist. I'm just gonna use my body weight for this one. And I'm actually gonna grab my little dumbbell that I have here. We're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart, hands are out in front of us. We're gonna keep our arms nice and tight and we're gonna twist side to side using our obliques and our abs. So we're not just moving our arms back side to side, but instead we're keeping a slight bend in our knees, a little weight in our hips, staying tight. Our arms are nice and close to us. And we're using that core to twist and rotate side to side. Now your flexibility and mobility might be to the point where you, you can only get to about 45 to 45 on each side, or you might be able to do a full 180 twist. Totally up to you. We encourage you again to make this routine your own. Making sure to focus on that movement, keeping your core nice and tight, and it shouldn't take you much to actually feel that stretch in your oblique. That's it, and again, you decide whether or not you wanna add some extra resistance and grab a weight or not. You got it, keeping this one up for just 10 more seconds. Come on, grind it out, everybody. Making sure to breathe, keep that core and abs tight the whole time for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Next, we're gonna move on to a standing opposite elbow to knee. So stay up on your feet, hands are on our head. We're gonna go opposite elbow to knee. Now on this one, you might not be able to get that knee all the way up and it, more look, it might look a little more like this. And that's all right. Again, we encourage you to make it your own. Get that knee up as high as you can. And at the same time, come down and crunch with that opposite side elbow. And breathe. This one, yes, it's gonna, you're gonna get a little extra credit working those legs at the same time on this one. Getting your heart rate up as well. We love double duty workouts, don't we? That's right, I, we love the efficiency, right? That's get as right. much done in the shortest amount of time you can. See is good. That's it. It's about that time in the workout when that burn starts to kick in, you, gotta start to, you have to start to focus on what it is that brought you here today to begin with. What are your goals? What motivates you? Why are you here? Focus on it. Don't, don't just blindly pass through this workout. Keep this one up for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, we're gonna move to the floor for the next one. And I'm actually gonna grab my dumbbell for this movement. 
we're gonna move into what's called a half get up. So go ahead and lie down flat on your back. We're gonna put one foot down flat on the ground, opposite side leg out to your side and about a 45 degree angle. Put that same side arm and hand out. Reach up with your opposite side arm. And now we're going to crunch up onto that opposite side forearm, crunch those abs and return back down. So you're coming up, looking up at that hand and that arm throughout the move. And if you'd like to, like Claudia is doing, you can go ahead and grab a little hand weight and add some extra resistance, but it's totally not required. So you're really using those abs. And when, instead of just coming straight up, we're actually punching across on this one. So we're punching across on the same plane as that leg that's out to the side. Coming up onto that forearm and that elbow, trying to keep it nice and flat on the ground. And not coming up into a full sit up, but just doing a crunch. Reaching across every time. Excellent work. We're gonna do half and half on each side. So we're gonna switch sides here in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Opposite side now. Go ahead and put that opposite side leg up, switch it, and right into it. Trying our best to eliminate downtime on this one. One of the keys to proper ab training is time under tension. Just keeping those abs working and not allowing them to rest. Ooh, and I definitely feel that. And we encourage you to move at your own pace on this one. Remember, it doesn't matter how slow you're moving, you're still lapping everybody else on the couch. Just keep it moving. Remember what brought you here today, whether trying to lose weight, get stronger, get more fit, or just get better at life and your day-to-day -day activities, whatever it is. Just stay focused on it and know why you're here. Come on, guys, you got it. Pushing yourself because nobody else can or will do it for you. Let's hit the last five seconds on this side in three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Next, we're moving into what's called a dead bug. So we're gonna put both arms up straight and then both knees up and bent at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna take opposite arm and leg and extend them. I'm gonna let that foot come all the way down and rest on the ground, or Claudia is gonna go ahead and keep that leg up off the ground. You decide which variation is appropriate for you. It's a little bit of coordination involved in this one, so it may take you a couple seconds to get it. But again, it's opposite arm and leg working together on this one. Again, making sure to breathe throughout whatever you do. Don't hold your breath. You decide if you want to take a little rest in between and rest that foot down, or if you're feeling good, feeling strong, and you want to keep that leg up. Either way, try your best again to keep that lower back glued to the ground. If it comes up a little bit, it's okay, but you're really trying to avoid a big arch. Excellent. You got it. One rep into the next. Keep it up. You're doing great. Nothing can stop you right here. Come on. We only got 10 more seconds on this one. Finish it strong, everyone. Let's go, Hasbro Tribe. Where are you at? For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right. Staying down in a similar position, go ahead and Put your arms out to your side. I'm gonna bring my knees up until they're bent at a 90 degree angle, and I'm gonna do a lying knee twist side to side. And I'm gonna have my legs straight up, and I'm gonna do a lying leg twist. That's a little easier with your knees bent. And ideally, you have a full range of motion where you're going all the way side to side, but depending on your mobility, you might be okay with just a 45 to 45 windshield wiper movement. You decide, again, what's appropriate for you and your current fitness level. And as you get through it and get more comfortable, you can go ahead and progress and make it a little more challenging. Keep coming back, getting a little bit better on every rep. Keeping your upper back flat on the ground on this one. And your lower back will go ahead and come up a little bit as you twist. Making sure to breathe. This is really working those obliques as well as your transverse abdominis. One rep right into the next. You got this. Come on. Let's go. Fighting through that burn. When that burn starts to kick in, you just have to remember that's just lactic acid. 
just that muscle fuel and energy your muscles are using. You don't have to listen to that nerve response. I am moving across the floor. Let's back Scooting up a little right bit. Across. <laughs> we don't have much left. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Nice Excellent. work. All right, we're going to turn over for the next one. We're going to get into a high plank position. I'm going to get into a high plank from my knees. And I'm going to be up on my feet in this high plank position. We're, we both have our back straight and our hips down, not having our butt up in the air. Now we're going to do an alternating Y raise. So take one arm, come up with that thumb up in the air, and bring that arm up and out into a Y shape. Abs stay tight, back stays straight. Again, you decide which of these moves is more appropriate for you, your feet up or down on your knees. I'm trying to stay as square as possible to the ground. Definitely don't want to turn this into a Y rotation here. Very true. Keep those hips square, abs stay tight, back stays straight. You don't want your butt up in the air and you also don't want it sinking down. Trying your best to form a nice straight diagonal line from your head to either your knees or your feet. Nice and controlled, one rep right into the next. Excellent. So it's really working your overall core, including your lower back, forcing you to stabilize. And a little bit of upper body in as well. Again, extra credit. I'm all about that extra credit, everyone. Come on, not much left on this one. We're almost there. Let's hit it for five, four, three, Two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, let's turn back over onto our backs. We're gonna move into a butterfly reach crunch. So lying down on our backs, we're gonna have our feet together and knees spread out. Now we're gonna reach through those legs as we crunch up. So where that long crunch was a little more coming straight up, this one we're actually gonna reach straight through those legs. Just hitting the abs from a little different angle. And if, you, uh, if your legs and hips don't open up quite as wide as ours, that's okay. Again, just doing your best. And you're going to gain a little added mobility and flexibility on this one. But keep moving. That's it. Again, doesn't matter how slow you're moving, still lapping everybody on the couch. That's right. You don't have to be great to start, but you do have to start to be great. And that's where you guys are at right here, right now. Every repetition is just getting you that much closer to your goals. That's it. Think about it. Visualize it. How good are you going to feel when you're all done with this routine? You don't have much left on this one today. Come on. Keep pushing, everyone. Here we go. Let's go. That's it. Fighting through that burn. Coming up and contracting those abs on every crunch. Really squeeze them and force them to work. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that is it. You Ooh, made it. We made it. We made it too. Nice work, Claudia. Nice work, coach. Boom. Nice work out there. Thank you so much for pushing it with us right to the very end. Yep. If you enjoyed today's workout and you've been working out with us for a while and you're starting to see some results, we'd encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this workout routine with us today, we ask that you give it a big thumbs up yes. and that you hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts, our free meal plans, and our free complete fitness program. And if you are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat, Snapchat, come find HasFit. We're there and connect with us. Again, thank you so much for allowing us to serve you and work out with you today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.